situation. Um, and in that community centre, Baka Bukahateni, the Friendship and Learning Centre, Bukahateni means want to learn or want to improve. Um, we run a language program, a youth program that includes a youth performance group. We have a small community library. We're hoping to have a computer program running up and running soon. We have issues with power. Um, and we have a really dynamic women's program that's up and running. This is the building that, or the, or the site that the district administrator said you can have that site for your centre. It's, it's quite, a, quite a relatively large site and there's two buildings on it. So in 2003, no, sorry, yeah, 2003, we got the, enough money together um, and to rebuild one of the buildings. And so this is how the Indonesians left it during their withdrawal. They removed everything. They, they removed uh, the power cords, all the internal structures. They basically left the concrete blocks. That was it. It used, used to be an education department building. So um, this is construction. Just wanted to say it, the building is an Indonesian era building. So it's um, in Timor. You come across, you know, World War Two things in the ground. You also come across traditional thatch huts and omolulix as I showed you early, earlier. You come across um, images of Zanata Guzma looking like Che Guevara. You also come across uh, lots of Indonesian style buildings which, which I'll show you a few of tonight and then lots of Portuguese type, type buildings. Um, so you can see this is the first building that's been reconstructed and the second building is is next to it that hasn't been fixed up, that needs to be fixed up. Um, and we employed the Rotary Roofing Project who is, is in Bacow and they, um, we subcontracted them to construct the roof. They have a really good project um, which is pretty much a team raised project now. Small construction. And that's the finished building. This is the opening that we held in June 2004. Uh -huh. And this part of the, where, where the audience is, they're sitting in front of these people cutting the ribbon. Um, and Kevin's here this evening, who's the chair of our committee. Um, and you can, so you can see the front yard is quite large. And this down the bottom is, is myself and um, our women's program coordinator holding up a, a donation of a, a, a quilt that's been uh, made and donated by women in Darabin and Yarra and um, the women from Timor sent us ties back, their traditional cloth. So lots of exchanges going on. This is how we currently use the centre. This is our committee working in the centre. This is the women's room and the various women from the villages that we do literacy work with, domestic violence prevention work with, small agricultural projects with. Our language program, we have three different classes learning English. And given that we've got double the population in Baokau at the moment, they've got double the number of English students, because we've got 25,000 refugees from Dili currently in Baokau at the moment. And this is the theatre group, Fu Quoto. Um, this is an old photograph of um, the, the two buildings taken from the back. Um, so the project, as the client, um, the project that we're presenting tonight is what we would like, that when we rebuilt the first building on the site, it was very much in that emergency phase. It was very much, we want to get a building built, we want to put it up. There was no design involved. We um, commissioned some, some drafts people from Delhi um, to do basic, draft the basic building, build it exactly the way it was and let's get it open. Now, things have moved on and we have the whole site to consider. And the second building, we've outgrown the first building, we've got the second building and we've got the whole site where there is potential. This is the second building. This is um, a very rough drawing that um, one of our volunteers did for us. So you can see the first building here. This is the first building that's been reconstructed. This has been demolished. This is the second building that we just saw. This is a driveway, it goes all the way. It probably finishes about there. The front yard's quite large. 
and um, there's act so there's a main street.